All right, well, here we are. Been a couple of months since I've actually made a video. Been working on the plane a lot and uh, recording a lot of footage, but just haven't had a chance to sit down and, and do any editing until now. So glad to be back doing that, though. Um, what I'm doing here, of course, is taking the parts out of the frames that I made uh, to hold all the parts when I primed them, which I talked about in the last video back in January. And uh, now what I'll be doing here is starting the final assembly, uh, basically riveting together the structural pieces of the skeleton of the horizontal stabilizer. So uh, the order that the horizontal stabilizer is sort of all put together in the skins is kind of interesting because you have to sort of build it from the bottom up or really from the, from the front back. Uh, but before you do that, you sort of assemble uh, some of the parts of the skeleton, you know, outside of the skins, which makes sense, of course, because you can get to them. And the very first step of that is the stringer web assembly. And so that's what I'm working on here. You can see those, you know, long things that I'm working on are the front and back um, stringers, or long and short, sorry, long and short stringers. And, you know, there's a, a bottom, a set that's on the bottom and a set that's on the top. And then the thing in the middle uh, is the stringer web. So I'm clicking that all together. Uh, I've got the spar and these ribs, the, the two inboard most inspar ribs out and click together because I wanted to test fit everything first. Uh, you may remember if you've seen my earlier videos that I screwed up when I was countersinking those stringers and ordered some new ones and remade them. And so this is kind of the, the final check to make sure that all the holes are going to line up with the original parts and that, you know, I'm not going to have any kind of problems there. And, you know, I just wanted to double check everything. It all looks great. Everything's going to line up fine. So, you know, no worries there, but that's why I have the, the spars out and I'm sort of going through a whole bunch of messing around right now and fiddling before I, you know, get up the courage to finally start riveting things together for real. I also toyed with the idea of doing the riveting while it was attached to one of the spars to use that as a sort of a holder or a stand. And in the end, uh, you know, I keep, it seems like I keep relearning this lesson that it's, it's rarely um, helpful to have more stuff clicoed together than necessary when you're, you know, when you're riveting certain sub assemblies together, because it just, it removes some, it just removes you know, degrees of freedom that you, you may need to be able to get at things. So anyway, took it back out. Now I'm setting up the squeezer, um, you know, getting it ready for the size and length rivets that I'm about to squeeze. And then I'll be, uh, you know, going ahead and squeezing this, uh, riveting the stringer web to the two inspar ribs. So, um, yeah, these are, let's see, AN 470s, so universal head rivets, and they're AD 4s, so those are 1 8 shanks, the, the larger of the two primary sizes that we use in the plane. And uh, I forget the length, but they're, you know, in this particular spot, they're not going to be all that long because it's just going through the fairly thin um, stringer web flange and rib web. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, pretty quick there. And then now what I'll be doing is uh, riveting the stringers themselves to the rest of this subassembly. So um, slightly longer rivets here and, uh, you know, but same drill. And I think in this one I end up using the, um, uh, yeah, so I use my flange nose yoke on this one just because it's got a little bit, you know, reaches around and behind that the, the double flange I'll say of, of the two back-to-back -back stringers so that made it a little easier and um, yeah not much to it I think looking back, I, I worked from the inside out. I kept flipping it over and doing, you know, one side than the other, trying to sort of work my way out and do things symmetrically. Uh, the plans don't really tell you to do stuff like that. I not that I remember, but I just tend to tend to work that way, which is why you'll see me uh, 
later on in this video flipping uh well so there it is um you know all together uh yeah you'll see me flip the spar around and you know like leave the room with it and come back so that i have room to rotate the whole thing around and, and that's kind of why i do that it probably adds adds a, some extra work but um you know it's okay so here i'm just riveting the stringers themselves uh back to back you know out out, out, pat, out toward the tips and um you know this is pretty quick i think there's nine holes per side per top and bottom so um you know not a lot and uh you know this should do it so this that finishes up step one of you know assembling the horizontal stabilizer so now the next step is to put that sub assembly on the front spar uh, you click it in place and you then add uh, a bunch more of the inspar ribs, the ones that slide along on these stringers. So that's what I'm doing here. You actually don't rivet those innermost, uh, inboardmost ribs yet. Those come uh, much, much later, actually, uh, because the rivets that hold those to the spar web also capture nose ribs, and you can't do that until you're putting things in the skin. Uh, so you'll, you'll see a picture later where I've got those I've got tape around those clecos to remind me to not rivet them. But uh, so I'm also grabbing some more of the uh, the remaining inspar ribs. I won't be riveting all of them to the spar yet because the outboard two on either side, uh, you don't do those until you get the whole thing settled down into the skeleton as well, and that's to leave access for um, getting at some of the nose ribs and some of the other stuff. But other than that, I'm riveting the rest of these, um, the rest of these inspar ribs to the spar web. And, uh, that'll pretty much wrap it up for this, uh, this part of the video, I think. One thing I noticed is, yeah, there you'll see me, yeah, I keep flipping stuff around because I'm working from one side and go back and work to the other for a little while and flip it back around. Um, Another thing I'm doing that, to be perfectly honest, bugs me a little bit, although it's totally inside the plane, you'll never see it once it's in the skin, but some of my rivets go through, you know, what I'll call front to back, so that the factory, you know, the manufactured head would be on the front side of the spar web, and some of them go through the other way, uh, back to front. And the reason for that is I, I discovered as I was going along that it works better. You can hold everything together tighter uh, when you go through from the back. And the reason I say that is when the weight of the squeezer is pressing down on the, you know, the domed head, factory head of the rivet, and then that's weighing down on the thin metal of the rib flange, it holds that that thin metal tighter, you know, it, it that that metal can kind of flex around, right, when you're trying to get the squeezer up in there. And and the weight of the squeezer squeezer holding that thinner metal, you know, down against the thicker metal of the spar web, uh, it just works better. And so it was, you know, just felt a little easier to make sure everything was nice and tight if I put the the um when I started putting the factory head of the rivet on the side that was the rib flange. Uh, that was a lot to explain. I hope I didn't, you know, <laughs> really butcher that description. But anyway, uh, again, so some of the rivets go through uh, sort of one direction. And then I, you know, before I, I switched, I tried to make it at least symmetrical. But uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, wrapping up, here's a few pictures of the sub, the um, string rope sub assembly and now the spar and uh, you know all those ribs in place. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I've got a lot more footage uh, to put together, uh, you know, starting to put the whole thing into the skins and rivet that together. And uh, hopefully I'll have that, uh, put that together, you know, real soon. So thanks for watching.